Welcome to Channel Today in History, in today's video we will talk about the day, July 18, 1936, Spanish Civil War. The Spanish Civil War was a social, political, and military conflict that erupted in Spain after the triumph of the July 18, 1936 coup d'etat perpetrated from Spanish Morocco by an army faction opposed to the government of the Second Spanish Republic and led by General Francisco Franco. The war would end on April 1, 1939 with the last war communique signed by Franco, which declared his victory and made room for a dictatorship that would last until 1975. The rebels, self-styled National Gang or Franco Gang, organized themselves around a large part of the military high command, institutionalized in the National Defense Board, and supported themselves by the fascist Falange Española Party, the Catholic Church, and the conservative right, monarchists, cedars and Carlists. Socially, it found support in the more privileged classes, non-liberal bourgeoisie, aristocrats, landowners or small landowners, who after the victory of the Popular Front at the polls saw their social position endangered or felt threatened by anti-clericalism and a possible explosion of violence by part of the proletariat. The Republican faction was formed around the legitimate government of Spain, that of the Popular Front, a coalition of Marxist, Republican and Nationalist parties, supported by the labor movement, the unions and the Constitutional Democrats. The Republican side's lack of organization, and the superiority of the revolted troops, many of them veterans of the African War, allowed the progressive advance of the National Army. The uprising was successful in Seville, the Balearic Islands, and the Canaries, in Navarre, Burgos and Zaragoza. General Yeg advanced into Extremadura, and Mola took iron. By the end of 1937, national troops controlled most of Toledo, Andalusia, Extremadura, Avila, Segovia, Valladolid, Burgos, Leon, Galicia, a part of Asturias, Vitoria, San Sebastian, Navarre and Aragon, as well as the Canary Islands and the Balearics, with the exception of Menorca, Castilla Nova, Catalonia, Valencia, Murcia, Almeria, Gijón and Bilbao remained in Republican hands. The Republican government formed a coalition cabinet led by Gyral, which was succeeded by another with Largo Caballero in charge. This brought the CNT to the cabinet, which was transferred to Valencia. On September 29, 1936, the Junta de Defensa Nacional named Franco head of government and commander of the armed forces. To compensate for these circumstances, the Republican government created a popular army and militarized the militias. Both sides would soon receive foreign aid, the international brigades supported Republican Spain, and the German and Italian troops the Franco forces. In April 1937, Guernica was bombed, Bilbao was taken in June, Santander fell in August and Gijón in October. The Republicans' reaction was to open fronts in Guadalajara, Bernit and Belchite. In 1938, the Francoists regained Teruel and divided the Republican zone into two parts after entering Castello in July. The government responded with the Ebro battle, which ended with the Republican defeat and 70,000 casualties. With the government's resistance extinguished, many Spaniards began to flee across the French border. Catalonia fell in February 1939. Madrid was the only city that resisted, and its defense junta's peace proposals were useless. Franco forces occupied the capital on March 28, 1939, the republic collapsed, and its representatives fled abroad, establishing a republican government in exile. On April 1, General Franco officially declared the end of the war. Did you like the video? In the description you will find the blog link with the full article.